So you can see behind me just really how intense those waves are out here. And tonight there are still people swimming in the water. Lifeguards say this is at their own risk because they've already had to pull a handful of people out of that water who were caught in the rip currents. Help, help. Along Cocoa Beach, this group of visitors saw lifeguards working overtime today. It's been busy out here today. There was at least four to five people today right here in this area that we had problems. Including three swimmers that were pulled from a rip current. Tim College was right in front of the International Palms Resort on North Atlantic Avenue when it all happened. I was up there by where they brought her in and then they come back running by me for another group, someone else. The swimmers included a couple, a man and a woman, and another who tried to go in and help them but got caught up too. Tim's wife Mary said she went in waist deep and almost got knocked over herself. The rip tides were coming. You could feel them pulling your feet out. A couple times we had to grab onto each other because it was that strong. All three swimmers were pulled out of the water, but the woman wasn't breathing. Brevard Ocean Rescue gave her CPR on scene and confirmed she later died at the hospital. The woman has yet to be identified. Officials are trying to contact her family first. I started crying because it was just, it's just so life changing to think that you go in the water to have fun and you don't come out. And again, just another look at those rough waves out here. We are still under a red flag warning tonight. And if you ever have any questions about the beach conditions, you can usually find them here posted on these lifeguard towers. Lifeguards say if you are going out in the water to find one of these towers and swim in front of it, especially if you're swimming with young children. Reporting in Brevard County, Heather Gustafson, Fox 35 News.